YouTube, what's going on with y'all, man? So look, we back at it again with another crazy video, bro. I haven't did an intro in a minute, but bro, I'm feeling myself today. I ain't gonna lie. You see, I got the setup. I'm feeling myself today, okay? But look, I came across a video, right? Shout out to Liz of TikTok. But this video right here, apparently a black lady feels some type of way. You'll know the whole Britney Griner and the Paul Willen situation. We all feel like it was a terrible trade. At least the people that's awake and not woke, you know. And, hey, look, we all feel as you know that was a terrible trade but apparently people like her feel like that was a it was a good trade so we're gonna go ahead and get to the video man and bro she says some things about you white people that i think y'all want to stay and listen to so without further ado hit the like button subscribe to no post notifications without further ado let's get it let go good morning tiktok and happy friday <laughs> yo i've been looking at these comments on my post from yesterday about britney griner and I am so tired of these saltine motherfucking settlers coming on my post with their bullshit rhetoric. She called y'all saltine settlers. I ain't never heard. I thought she was going to say saltine crackers or something, but she said saltine settlers. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. You telling me? I'm sorry to pause the video. I'm editing right now, and I'm just now reading that big red thing at the top. Not a comment pen. So you telling me on her video. There was not one comment that said anything about the Paul and the Britney Griner. It was no comment about. <laughs> this is proof that you people, all y'all care about is just race. Y'all just want to talk. I think y'all just want to hear y'all talk. But man, I wish I said that. Just enjoy the rest of the video. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. And they say, and they say uh, you can't be racist towards white people if you're black. <laughs> oh, okay. Good morning, TikTok, and happy Friday. <laughs> Yo, I've been looking at these comments on my post from yesterday about Brittany Griner. And I am so tired of these saltine motherfucking settlers coming on my post with their bullshit rhetoric. Not for racism. Okay, if you got left behind, and black people in this country have gotten the short end of the stick for long enough. When are y'all saltines gonna realize that we like motherfucking graham crackers over here? Fucking stupid. Good morning, TikTok. <laughs> okay, hold on. We, we gonna watch it one more time, but I just gotta get a, a couple thoughts. First of all, number one, number one, I just wanna say this. Now, if you read the, now I was, as she was talking, first of all, her name is Fancy Face. That's a terrible name. But as you, as she was talking, I'm reading a little thing at the bottom and say, yep, y'all racist, stay mad, the trade off was worth it, you hillbillies. And you tell me this ain't racist. I, I, I'm just, I'm confused. What people not felt, what people fail to realize is that, bro, it, congratulations. Brittany Griner is home. That congratulations. Okay, she's home to her family. She's on why, whatever. Congratulations. Okay, I'm not saying that I wanted her to stay back there, but if they had, if I had to choose between her and a person that's that freaking fought for the United States of America. Why would I choose somebody who only, oh, oh wait, let me, let me uh, rephrase that too. That man been left since 2018. So if I had to choose between her and a, and a, and a person that fought for uh, the United States of America that's been out there since 2018. And I, from what I heard, he was going to a wedding, but I said, but they thought he was a spy, a whole bunch of nonsense and, and a whole bunch of nonsense. But then you got a person that took drugs to a country that I'm assuming that was illegal. I will choose the person who fought for the United States of America. I'm not looking at race in the ass. I'm not looking at the race. Race don't matter. Okay, race simply don't matter. And what you people fail to realize, especially you woke black people, y'all really fail to realize that race doesn't matter. Okay, we're looking at the fact that this man been out there since 2018. A, a Marine veteran out there since 2018 y'all don't y'all skip right past that and y'all going straight to Brittany grind because she's black she's gay and you feel like black people been left behind for so many freaking years i'm not even looking at the race i'm not looking at the history i'm not looking at none of that i'm looking at the simple fact that somebody that's been there for a couple months somebody that's been there for a couple years come on bro you gotta have some type of sympathy for them you you got to you got to Brittany grind eat. come on man and y'all sit here and y'all, all y'all do is talk about race. Race this and race that. You saltine settlers. Bro, you are just a racist. Racist. But let the roles been reversed and black people, I mean, uh, uh, white people would have said this about black people. Oh my gosh. It would have been a whole bunch of nonsense. Chaos. All y'all think about is freaking race. It seemed like you've been on a naughty list, so I'm not going to get you any presents for Christmas. 
You've been on the naughty list. You has been on the naughty list. I'm Santa Claus today, and I make the decision around this piece. Good morning, TikTok, and happy Friday. <laughs> Yo, I've been looking at these comments on my post from yesterday about Brittany Griner. And I am so tired of these saltine motherfucking settlers coming on my post with their bullshit rhetoric. Not for racism. Okay, if you got left behind and black people in this country have gotten the short end of the stick for long enough. When are y'all saltines going to realize that we like motherfucking graham crackers over here? I don't know why she comparing food, but it, it, I'm done. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video, okay? S seriously, my whole thing is I'm not looking at the race. I I'm not. I'm not. And then I got people in my comment section. Um, this is not, it wasn't on YouTube, but it was on Instagram telling me that, oh, uh, a lot of black people love their slave masters. It's talking about that I, I am a slave and uh, I love my slave masters. That's why I save up for white people. That First of all, that doesn't even make logical sense, okay, because I'm not a slave. That does, I don't have a slave master. But, you know, you black people think what you want to think, but this is what I hate. I, I I love my people to death. I love my I love my race. I love my community. I love every single community, white community. I love everybody, okay? I don't look at race. But this is what y'all fail to realize. Like I said, Paul Willing, he was, a, he was a Marine veteran, okay? The man's been stuck there since 2018. I'm not looking at the fact that the man was white, he was Hispanic, he was shot. I'm not looking at that. That's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the just his, the history, okay? The man was stuck in there from 2018. And then you got freaking Brittany Griner who was only there since February and she could just go home free. She could just go home free. And all y'all looking at, oh, yes, yes. The, um, Not Donald Trump, but um, Joe Biden made a great decision. That was the best trade-off ever. Ooh, ooh, ooh. First of all, he traded off her for a freaking... They traded in for for a freaking uh what's merchant of death. We and we just brought back home a WNBA player, and then we said yeah y'all can have a merchant of death. Get us back the WNBA player. Forget the person that actually know how to shoot the freaking gun. Let, forget him. Keep him there with y'all. We gonna take back the black woman that's WNBA star that we never heard of since the woman went to jail. I'm just saying, bro. Y'all be so, man, y'all never want to just look at, look at the real between. Y'all always want to look at the race. Look at what's real. Okay, look at the real. Just look at it. <laughs> if you just got your mind right and you changed your mindset, I guarantee you will want it. Paul Wellen to be back home with his family. He been out there since 2018. You will want him to be back home with his family. Everybody live matter. Okay, yes, I want Brittany Grind to be back home with her family. If we could, I wish both of them could come back, but they said they only have one choice. I mean, um, I find that bull crap, but hey, it is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the uh, comment section below. How y'all feel about this lady? Uh, thoughts. Okay, <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.